And to be honest, I think this is my favourite outfit so far. I really like this. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Zara and today is, apart from being a very like dark and gloomy autumn day, also my one year anniversary here on YouTube, which is super exciting. And to celebrate that, I thought that we would put together some outfits. So I have a piece of clothing that I sort of struggle with how to style it, and it is a vintage Burberry trench coat. Now a trench coat is a piece that I feel many people already have, and I think it's a staple in quite many people's wardrobes. And I think wearing a trench coat is just so like smart, chic, elegant. I really do love wearing. However, when it comes to outfits with a trench coat, I feel that I sort of struggle a little bit. So today I thought that we would have a look through my wardrobe and try to put together a couple of outfits that will work very well with a trench coat. And also they need to look just as good when you take the trench coat off and you go inside. So a few versatile outfits. So now let's jump over to my wardrobe and see which outfits we can create. Welcome to my wardrobe. And as you're going to see, it is um, a little bit messy, a little bit unorganized, and I am definitely due another wardrobe clear out. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on that video. Now, when it comes to outfits, I'm thinking that I want to create a couple of different ones, starting with um, probably trousers. I will be using the ones that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and apart from that, I also want to make an outfit with a short skirt, a long skirt, a dress, just to give both me and you some different options on what to wear. So when you are wearing a trench coat and it's fully buttoned, the only parts of your outfit that will be visible is the top part, so if you have like a fancy collar or something, and also about mid-calf and down. That's why I think that a pair of quite wide-legged Trousers like these can be quite interesting because then there's some sort of detail at the bottom of the jeans and I want to select some sort of top that has an interesting neckline in some way. So what I think that I want to do with this outfit is um, I'm going to show you. I have this black roll neck which I think would look, work really well because then you'll have the black collar peeking through at the top of the trench coat. And then we'll put this on and then we'll see if we want to add another layer as well. Something like this. And now let's pop on the trench coat and see how this looks. And I realise I probably didn't show you, but this is a very simple and classic trench coat. Um, no like extra details, just a very simple beige one with the uh, classical pattern on the inside. I also do have the matching scarf and we're going to try to incorporate that in some of the outfits as well. And an issue that I sadly have with my trench coat is that it is technically a size too small, but um, I mean, like, it fits, but I can't wear like really big fluffy jumpers underneath because then I can't button it. I also have a specific pair of boots in mind, which are black, that will tie in really well with the black details here at the neck. So I'm gonna show you. Next up, I want to bring out a dress that I don't really wear that often, so I want to see if it would work with the trench coat and if there's like a style pairing there that would make me use the dress more. And it is this grey sort of checkered dress with, believe it or not, pockets. And this dress has a very straight cut, whereas the trench coat is more cinched in at the waist. So I'm thinking that adding a trench coat to this dress would help give it a nicer silhouette. So, um, let's see how this works out. So this is what the dress looks on, but a part of me wants to add like some more warm colours, some autumnal colours, so I'm going to see if I have some sort of jumper that would work well on top of this dress. Mm. 
Okay, so the sweater that I was planning on wearing is actually in the wash, I realise, because it's not here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the jumper that I had on in the beginning of this video because it has a similar colour palette as the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I think this will work, but now the dress is worn sort of more as a skirt. But if you get too warm, then you can always take the jumper off. Still have a nice looking outfit on underneath. Let's try it out for the trench coat. Okay, so I really did like how this outfit came together. I think that the burnt orange colour of the jumper works really well with the trench coat. I'm not completely sure if a grey skirt, or dress in this case, is the exact right way to go, but I still like the outfit, I would wear it. Moving on, I want to create an outfit that is more centred around a maxi skirt, so something that you will see peeking out below the trench coat and I have a particular skirt in mind that I want to use. We have this one here which is a very long polka dot print one and for this outfit I think that I actually want to use my Burberry scarf because it does have some black details in the pattern and I think that will tie in really nicely with the black in the skirt. So now I just need to figure out what top I want to use. I want to wear something white to pick up on the white polka dots in the skirt and I have a specific top in mind. This one in a very cute vintage style. So let's pop this on and see what it looks like. Now this is a very like me outfit. I really really like wearing this. This is um, very much my style. However, I felt that just the white top and the skirt was a little too cold considering which season we are moving into, so I added an extra cardigan and because we have a very long coat we can go for a very long cardigan. And also since I said before my coat is a little bit too small so it worked really well to add two thinner layers underneath. Next up I want to do an outfit that is more centred around a shorter skirt and I have one that is very autumnal that I want to use. It is uh, this one in a sort of like houndstooth pattern. I'm pretty sure you will have seen it on my channel before. It's one of my favourite skirts to wear now during autumn because this one is very stretchy, but at a glance no one can tell. And I want to try to keep this outfit very, how should we say, almost business appropriate or academia school style, those types of vibes. So I have a sweater in mind that I want to pair with this. Okay, so I really do need to organise my knitwear, but I was thinking of this one, which is just a very simple white cable knit. So now let's put this on and see how it looks together. This is what it looks like and like, I'm someone who is so deep into the academia aesthetic, at least mentally, so I'm super happy with this outfit. And um, if you're wondering why I'm looking that way, it's because I have a full length mirror over there. But I really like the way that this looks together. And I'm thinking that it's going to look even better with the trench coat. This feels like autumnal perfection. I love how this looks. It's so preppy super academia. I really enjoy it. One thing that I would add though if I was going out would be a pair of dark tights because currently I don't have anything on my legs and it is way too cold out for that to be an option. But I love how it looks and I have a pair of shoes in mind that I will wear for this outfit. I will be right back. Okay, so these were the shoes that I had in mind and they're a pair of black over the knee boots. I wear these so much during the autumn and winter season. I actually got them secondhand and I realised that 
when I've worn these out, I will definitely be getting a new pair. Or a second hand or pre-loved pair, but new to me at least. And I think these will work really well with this outfit because in the skirt we do have quite a lot of black details and that will pick up perfectly with the boots. And to be honest, I think this is my favourite outfit so far. I really like this. And this is also why I often encourage people to go out and just have a look at what you already have in your wardrobe. See how can you combine it? Can you come up with any other outfits? Because to be honest, the first few outfits they were okay but like now I feel that I'm really getting into the creating outfit mood and the outfits just turn out like better and better so if you have an afternoon a rainy one like today where you don't really have anything specific that you need to do have a look through your wardrobe just get creative put together outfits and you might end up with something as good as this I feel that we need to do at least one other outfit with a pair of trousers and the ones that I have in mind are right there because I have been using them for the past week. And these are just a pair of brown wide-legged ankle length trousers. They are so comfortable and I'm really happy that I got them. But now what to style it with? I feel that I want to do something that is quite interesting up at the top so that we have something fun peeking through the trench coat. So um, I'm gonna have a look and see what I can come up with. I have a sweater vest that I think could work quite well. So we're gonna put that one out for now. I'm thinking, do we do a shirt with this under the sweater vest? That would actually look quite nice because then you would get both the sweater vest and like the collar peeking through at the top of the jump, jump dress. <laughs> at the top of the trench coat. That could work really well. Simple white button up. Let's try it out. Here we go, the trousers are on, sweater vest on, white button up. I think this can work really well. Let's try it with a trench coat. With this outfit, I I sort of feel that I should be a professor at Hogwarts, which, to be honest, is always a look, because I think it's very like smart, timeless, classic, and I really like how it pairs together. It's all very monochromatic, because basically we're just working with browns, beiges, and whites, but at the same time I still think that the colours are different enough to be able to make it interesting. I feel that I would like to give the dresses another go because I don't really think that I nailed the first one. So we're going to have a look through my different dresses and see what would work with the beige trench coat. So I have two different options on dresses that would work well with the trench coat. One of them is a sweater dress and one of them is a dark floral maxi dress. And the reason I know that these would work great with a trench coat is that I've styled them with the trench coat before in previous videos. I will have both of those linked up here somewhere if you want to go and watch them for some more styling inspiration. And I feel that it would be a little bit, you know, cheating to put them in this video. But at the same time, I don't really know which other of my dresses I would style it with. So I am curious, what sort of dress would you wear with a trench coat? Because I feel that it would be nice with something that is sort of midi length, so it pokes out beneath the rim of the trench coat. But at the same time, I don't want to have like too many patterns or anything that clashes. So I'm super curious. How would you style a dress with a trench coat or what type of dress would you wear? Let me know in the comments below because um, I'm stuck on this one. 
like always my goal with these videos are to inspire you to help you get creative with the things that you already have in your wardrobe and just give you some ideas on how you perhaps can style things differently and if there's something that you have seen in my videos that you feel that this is something that I am missing from my wardrobe then I highly do recommend visiting the thrift store and having a look through and see what they have because thrifting is so much fun and if you do enjoy watching come thrift with me's and thrift hauls and styling content then make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and if you found this video helpful in any way give it a thumbs up and I also want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have been here from the beginning because I know that quite a few of you well you've been with me for a year now and that's insane but thank you so much for sticking with me while I try to figure out this thing called YouTube. I really do appreciate every single one of you being here. So I will see you in my next video and in case I didn't say it before I make new videos every week so take care of each other and I will see you soon. Bye!